I would like to introduce you to the yurt that I built from recycled materials. The top is a pool liner equipped with a chimney. The outside are industrial awning covers from businesses that were left over when they reskinned them. The wall's structure is made up of five foot tall fencing that the neighbor was throwing out, including the fence posts. Uh, the, the rope was given to me from my Uncle Don. Sorry. I'll go inside, see if we can get enough light to see a little bit. Okay. A little light. If you come in here, the doorway is made to put a 32 inch storm door in, cut down to five foot. I reinforced the framing with an old queen size bed railing that I've uh, adjusted here. The rafters are two by twos. This is my hub I made. A wooden tabletop with a hole cut in the center and then sanded round. The dish is just from the thrift store and I used a grinder. I made that a few years ago. Used a grinder to cut square holes in it. Become self-supporting. This thing is not setting on the chimney. That was very important. I wanted to, to be able to you didn't need the stove in it in the summertime to be able to take it out and it still was self-supporting it's very stable very strong the fencing here you could use four foot fencing five foot scrape that's what I got so I will not complain it's held together with uh, silicone bracelets obviously this is still a work in progress um, this will be a place of peace for me place for nice conversation, a place to stay warm in the winter, to be outside, outdoors, more outdoors I guess. My dad gave me this real nice stove, it was at our camping property. Got the cinder blocks from my friend. Gina's girls made the bench for her for a Mother's Day present. They did a great job. Their dad helped them. Uh, here, I'll give the roof a little, a little more roof. Like I said, this is a pool liner. You could use a tarp, but this was already cut round. Uh, it's a little bit wide for a 12 foot yurt. You could probably use this on a 14 foot yurt also. It was for a 15 foot pool. I have some more things that I'm going to do to it. We're going to insulate it with wool blankets as we can find them. Hanging them from the side. Very, very strong, very stable. Um, I'll get back with some more information and some other ideas of how to make a yurt completely from either recycled or used materials.